Imagine getting 50% more electricity from your solar panels without adding a single extra panel to your roof. That's exactly what perovskite solar technology promises to deliver. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how these next generation solar cells work and what this breakthrough means for your energy costs. And I'll show you also how the sponsor of today's video, Delete Me, can remove your private data from online data brokers, but more on that later. Now, I'll also break down the major challenges with these solar panels, including installation timeline and whether waiting makes sense for your specific situation. And we'll also answer the question, could this technology be the game changer that your rooftop has been waiting for? Ever wonder why so many homeowners still haven't jumped on the solar bandwagon despite all the benefits and promises of energy savings? The truth is that current solar technology comes with some pretty significant limitations that the glossy brochures don't exactly highlight. For starters, let's talk about efficiency, the big elephant in the solar room. Now, those standard silicon panels that are on your neighbor's roof, they're only converting about 20% of the sunlight that hits them into usable electricity. That means that roughly 75 to 80 percent of all the free solar energy is simply going to waste, which means that this isn't the revolutionary technology that many believed it to be. And to put this in real terms, imagine you install a pretty standard 400 watt panel with about 21 percent efficiency on your home. If that panel receives four hours of direct sunlight each day, you're looking at generating approximately 576 kilowatt hours per year. And that's the actual math and it falls pretty significantly short when you consider that the average home, at least in Colorado, uses around 8,400 kilowatt hours annually. Imagine trying to fill a swimming pool with a garden hose. No matter how long you leave it running, the limited flow means the pool fills painfully slowly and that's essentially what's happening with current solar technology on your roof. And the physics behind this limitation is actually pretty interesting. You see, silicone as a semiconductor material can only absorb certain wavelengths of light effectively. It simply can't capture the full spectrum of solar radiation that bombards your roof every day. And despite decades of research and development, silicone-based technology has essentially hit its practical efficiency ceiling of around only 20 to 25 percent with only incremental improvements over recent years. And this efficiency problem creates a cascade of other issues for homeowners. You need a lot more panels to generate a meaningful amount of electricity. That 400 watt panel we talked about earlier, you'd need about 15 of them just to cover half of that average Colorado home's energy usage. That's a lot of roof space. And the constraints on solar adoption aren't actually about the manufacturing costs of the panels themselves. The real limiting factors are grid connection, permitting processes, and installation labor, as well as installation. Now, all these factors directly increase your bottom online cost, and many homeowners are understandably hesitant about covering large portions of their roof with bulky black panels. And if you have a smaller home or roof with limited usable space, you might not be able to put enough panels to even make a meaningful dent in your energy bills in the first place, making the whole investment questionable. And for a typical home, at least in the Colorado Denver metro area, you'd need around 15 of those average 400 watt panels to make a meaningful impact in your energy based on average usage, which would cover roughly 400 square feet of your roof, which is a substantial substantial portion of most residential roofs. And even after covering all that roof space, you're still likely to need grid electricity due to cloudy days, shorter winter sunlight hours, or snow covering your panels, as well as nighttime usage. And after making this significant investment, you're still paying the utility company every single month. Now, this efficiency ceiling directly impacts the financial equation too, because the payback period often stretches well beyond 10 to 15 years, especially in areas with moderate electricity rates. And that's a long time to wait for your investment to break even as many of our subscribers have often commented in the comment sections, especially considering most Americans move every five to seven years. But what if we could dramatically increase the amount of electricity generated from the same roof space? If panels could capture significantly more sunlight, the entire equation would change because fewer panels would be needed, which means less roof space required, faster payback periods, and ultimately more homeowners able to benefit from solar technology at a lower cost. So let's dive in to how these panels are such a game changer. But first, if you've been enjoying this content so far, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's a free way that you can show support and it's much appreciated if you found this content helpful. Now, that revolutionary what if isn't just a hypothetical anymore. Scientists have discovered a crystal structure that's about to transform solar energy as we know it. And that structure is perovskite, a crystalline material with origins dating back to its discovery in Russia's Ural Mountains in 1839, and it's emerged as silicone's perfect 
partner. While silicon has been stuck capturing only a fraction of available sunlight, perovskite can see parts of the light spectrum that silicon can't even detect by giving your solar panels a whole new set of eyes. So what exactly is this miracle material? Perovskites are a family of crystalline structures with an ABX3 formula. Think of it like assembling a Lego set where every piece can be swapped to build a customized model. Typically, methyl ammonium sits at the corners, lead in the center, and elements like chloride or iodide surround that central metal. And the beauty of this structure is its flexibility because scientists can swap different elements to fine tune exactly which wavelengths of light the material absorbs. Think of the solar spectrum like a bullet of light. Silicon panels fill their plate with mainly visible light, leaving energy rich wavelengths untouched. Perovskite can be customized to grab different portions of that buffet, especially parts that silicon misses entirely. And this unique ability lets perovskite join forces with silicon, forming a dynamic duo that captures a fuller spectrum of sunlight. And when combined in tandem cells, we're essentially sending two specialists to the buffet instead of one, each grabbing different foods or different spectrums of light, which results in a much fuller plate of energy, so to speak. Now, the genius of tandem cells is how they divide and conquer. You see, the perovskite layer sits on top, capturing visible light and converting it to electricity. Meanwhile, infrared light passes through to the silicone layer below. And this tag team approach makes significantly better use of the sun's energy without requiring extra roof space. And the real world results prove the concept works. In fact, researchers in Berlin have achieved nearly 30% efficiency with these tandem cells, while Oxford photovoltaic labs have reached 28.6% in their labs, which is a quantum leap beyond traditional panels. And when they partnered with the Fraunhofer Institute, I'm assuming I pronounced that correct, to build a working module, they hit a record-breaking 25% conversion efficiency in the same physical footprint as a traditional panel. And in practical terms, this efficiency jump means your current roof space could generate 50% more electricity without adding panels. And for the average home, this could mean dropping from 15 panels to just 10 while producing the same amount of electricity, which means you could be running your air conditioning guilt-free all summer long during heat waves, all powered by the sun with monthly electric bills slashed dramatically, potentially to zero, all with less panels. And the manufacturing advantages are equally impressive because while silicone production requires extreme temperatures, perovskite can be created near room temperature, and this simpler production potentially means lower costs for homeowners as well. Now, durability concerns are being addressed too. Scientists at King Abdullah University have developed protective elements that bond perovskite to other layers in the cell, and their innovations maintain 95% efficiency even after 1,000 hours at 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which is crucial for technology that must withstand decades of weather extremes. For homes with limited roof space, this efficiency boost could transform solar from financially questionable to compelling because a typical 12-year payback could shrink to eight years or less, making solar attractive even if you might move before the full payback period. And when calculating an impact on a homeowner's wallet, the numbers are exciting because in Colorado, where the average annual electricity costs hover around $1,200 annually, a traditional array covering half your usage saves you about $600 yearly with with perovskite tandem technology, those savings could jump to $900 annually with the exact same installation at a lower installation cost. And with all those impressive savings and efficiency numbers, you're probably wondering why perovskite panels aren't already on every roof. And we'll touch on that shortly, but first let's look at how Delete Me can help you remove your personal information from online sites all at the click of a button. Now, this is a service that I personally use and they have removed my personal information from dozens of sites. Data breaches are becoming more common than ever and that is why the sponsor of today's video, Delete Me, is more important than ever. It helps remove your personal information like your name, address, phone number, email, and more from data broker websites that buy, sell, and trade your data. And the process is simple. You simply submit your information and with seven days, you receive a report showing exactly where your data was found and removed. Delete Me continues to monitor and remove your data all year long. And I can tell you from personal experience that it actually works. Now you can get 20% off all US plans today by heading to the link in the description down below and join the thousands of people who trust Delete Me to protect their online privacy and take control of your data today. Now, back to the content. The truth is that early perovskite cells had a devastating flaw, and that is that they lost up to 80% of their power generating capacity within just two years of outdoor exposure. It's like imagine buying a luxury car that becomes basically unusable before you've even made three payments. And that's been the reality check that's kept this technology confined to laboratories rather than revolutionizing rooftops. You see, traditional silicone panels come with 25 year warranties and typically degrade by only about 8% over that entire period. Meanwhile, 
first generation perovskite cells were failing after exposure to sunlight, heat, moisture, and outdoor conditions, the very elements they need to function. And that's because these environmental factors attack the perovskite crystal structure, causing it to break down rapidly. The truth is the manufacturing challenges are significant and creating perovskite in a controlled laboratory environment differs completely from mass producing millions of panels that perform consistently. The processes that work beautifully for small test cells often fail when scaled up. Consider the difference between baking one perfect cake in your kitchen versus producing thousands of identical cakes in a factory. That's the scaling problem that manufacturers face. Despite these technical hurdles, several companies claim they've solved the stability code. UK-based Oxford photovoltaic manufacturer is leading the charge with their chief technology officer stating that they've engineered cells that will meet or exceed that critical 25-year lifespan benchmark. And they've been testing full-size modules outdoors for over three years using that data to predict long-term performance. And according to their studies, their best tandem cells lose only about 1% efficiency in the first year with minimal decline thereafter, which is a dramatic improvement over earlier versions. Versions. And another major player is Cubic PV backed by Bill Gates. They were initially planning a massive 10 gigawatt conventional silicone wafer factory in North America, but pivoted entirely to tandem perovskite technology, which should come as a strong vote of confidence. And Cubic PV claims they've solved durability issues as well through better chemistry and also by building intrinsic stability into the material itself. Now, both companies keep their methods proprietary for competitive reasons, creating a challenge for consumers trying to evaluate evaluate these claims independently. But the bottom line is that market projections show serious momentum because the global perovskite solar cell market was valued at $95 million in 2022 as, and is projected to reach approximately $2.5 billion by 2032, representing a transition from niche technology to a mainstream solar solution. So when can homeowners actually get this technology? Well, based on current timelines, the first commercial products are expected by mid-2024, likely in specialized commercial installations before becoming widely available for residential use. And for homeowners, this means probably 2025 or 2026 before local installers offer perovskite silicone tandem panels as standard options. Now, the timeline could accelerate if Oxford PV and Cubic PV deliver on their promises, or it could delay if new issues emerge in real world conditions across different climate zones. But the rapid pace of investment suggests that we're in the final stretch of development. And with billions flowing into the technology and major players putting their money behind it, perovskite has moved beyond if to when. And this shift in the industry confidence indicates the technology will likely overcome its remaining hurdles. So where does this leave you if you're considering solar for your home right now? Well, you've got a decision to make. Current silicone panels offer proven reliability with established warranties and immediate energy savings. Meanwhile, perovskite technology promises a dramatic efficiency boost but isn't quite ready for your rooftop. So Think about your priorities. Do you need immediate savings with guaranteed returns? Silicone panels are available and can deliver today, but if you're interested in future improvements, perovskite technology may reward your patience. And we understand this isn't always easy, so let me know what you think or share your personal experiences with solar panels or energy bills in the comment section. Are you waiting for perovskite or installing silicone now? And if you found this content helpful, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button for the algorithm and watch this next video.